Hi everybody, it's me, V, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I have a pair of jeans from the Spring Summer 2021 and the current Spring Summer 2022 Mugler collections. So let's get into it. Now that you guys know what two items I got, I wanted to go over the price of these items and how much I paid in particular. Okay, so the first item I bought is actually the Sheer Spiral Jeans from the Spring Summer 2022 collection. And they are super, super cute. Of course, I can't show you all of it, like not on body, but I'm gonna try it on. But essentially it has this illusion mesh, I believe they call it, just like a tool that's skin tone. There's two different shades. There's, I think this is, I'll put it on the screen what the different shades are. I know it's deep, and I think it's light medium. But this is the lighter one, and I was kind of worried about that, but in reality, it's a pretty universal color, which I think deep probably would have actually been like a little too deep, or not too deep, but it would have made my skin tone darker, which, which is a cool little look too, but I just wanted it to look completely flesh and just realistic. Currently on the Mugler site, it is listed at 690 euro, which is 687 USD. Currently, the euro and USD are like almost one to one, which is really great. But I actually got this on my Teresa for 678. I don't know how I got a discount for something that's like brand new off the runway, but I happily bought that. And just for some comparison, um, it's listed on the Webster, and you can go to the Webster Houston and it's $950, but you know, that's like an upcharge. It's also on Mode Sense for $950, Farfetch, it's $113, $1013, clearly. But um, yeah, I recommend My Teresa. That's where I get all my stuff from. It's a very good price. Okay, so the second pair of jeans I bought is the Buy Material Style Jeans. And these are just the ones from last season, so Spring Summer 2021. And they're so cute. It has the little thin little denim and then the material on the side that spirals around. And you know, it has the lining that spirals too all the way down. Super, super nice. Um, so price. This one was on the Mugler site. It is 490 euro, which again is similar. 488 USD. I got this on my Teresa for 482. I feel like I got a deal. I don't know where you can pay less than retail. I mean, this is this would make sense to me because this was last season, but um, a lot of other places are still doing a higher markup. So the Webster has this, like you can go in, order online, but also go in Houston, the Galleria area, and pay 690. Or you can go to Farfetch and get it for 621. But again, my Teresa had it for 482, and hopefully you guys can catch that deal, steal, all of that. Now let's get into the try on. Okay guys, and one last thing, I kind of wanted to throw in the sizing that I got, and also just the exact color code, because I know there's different color denim, and it's sometimes hard to tell just from visuals. So I'll put a close up right now of each pair of pants. Okay, so of course you get your tag. And so, I hope it's not backwards on the actual video, but essentially this is the Spring Summer 22, 22S. And then the color number is this. All of that says pretty much the stats of the pants, but more importantly, if you were looking and wanting to know, I got this in a European 40. Now, I know I just had a baby three months ago, so, I'm a lot bigger than what I was before I got pregnant, which is, you know, crazy. I was super, super tiny. But um, 
I got a European 40 because I heard that's the size of a 27. So that's the size of me post baby. So I know it's not directly a 27, it's a 40 European. But on these jeans, I was looking up people for references and they have people that are 27s. They were saying that the 40 is what fit them the best. So that's what I got. So let's see how that fits. And if that works for you, then now you know. And I wanted to see what's in here. I hear like a little bit of rustling. So let's see what's going on there. Okay, so essentially these are just extra buttons, which is very nice to have. And there's quite a bit more in here, but I'm very clumsy and I will definitely drop all of these, so I'm going to put them back. And just to note, uh, these ones came with extra buttons as well, so both pair gave you extra buttons. And this little tag is just a my Teresa tag, and it's essentially the same thing as this, giving you the color code of the pants and all their stats and sizing, French sizing, European. And then again on the 21S pair of pants, the same thing. Just the My Teresa tag that was added on after. Okay, let's try these pants on. Okay, so I just put on some simple shoes and a simple top because I want the focus of this video to be the pants because it's not why we're all here. But um, let me stop talking and show you how they look. Okay guys, I wanted to show you guys. I already zipped it up and it fits perfectly. And I'm so happy I didn't buy the size. Um, let me make sure I get this correct. French 38 and US 6 because that would have not fit me because this is just a perfect fit. Um, I recommend getting what you think is your size, but a size up because there's not much stretch to these. It does definitely stretch like, and can be very active and move around, even squat. Um, let me zip it up and show you guys. So this is the European 40, or I think on my Teresa. Yeah, they listed it as the French 40, and then the US 8, but yeah, I don't have to suck in. I can just zip it up, and it's a pretty great, I would say so. I would say this is a great fit. Um, what can I say? It definitely a little bit more room right here, but if you're gonna buy expensive pants, you're gonna spend over a thousand dollars on pants, I would definitely say get a size that you know will fit you. And then if anything, all else fails, just get it tailored. I think that's much better than having to fight to put your pants on and when you finally get them on, if you can put them on, not being able to squat or sit or just be a regular human, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm very, very comfortable in this, and I feel like it has a nice shape to it. Um, let me get further, but that's just how it looks. And you can see it's a very nice fit. Um, even like a little bit of this, but quite honestly, i rather that than being freaking squeezed. I feel like you eat a meal and you can't even breathe. I could definitely eat eat in these. And just so you guys can see that they do have some move to them and I don't feel constricted, like I can really do a whole, I don't feel any pain at all. Um, I don't know what else to show you, like <laughs> stretch, like you don't need to do that in jeans, but I'm just saying that you're not gonna feel constricted in any way. Um, I feel like they're very, flattering pair of pants, and I definitely recommend these. Oh, I did want to add, I keep adding stuff, but I did want to add, um, these pants are definitely for the tall girls. I am 5'7", and there is so much more extra length on the bottom, 
And I wanted to twist it up and just see, because on the glare side, they um, have them looking more spiraled. And that's essentially, they just, they just turned it more, because they're the same pants, just turned. So yeah, I think it looks cute this way too, and it's just so much extra jean. That's the only thing, so much extra material more so. But I mean, it's a style, it looks kind of stats, but not really. I think it's a look. And speaking of looks, I thought these pants can be worn casually as well, so I threw on some Balenciaga track twos, and um, I think you wear it like this. I feel like I wear it straight legged, free legged, but you can also cuff it if you wanted to. I prefer this, but this is cute too. But essentially, whether you're wearing heels or wearing some sneakers, these look really nice. And you don't have to feel so dressy just because they're luxury pants. Okay guys, now the 22S pants fit completely different. Um, I think because there's more elastic actually in the makeup of these pants, um, it's a more snug fit to be honest. So the other ones, even though they're more denim, it's actually easier to put on. These aren't hard to put on, like that was, that's it. And I don't feel like it's extra tight, but I had to like, to give you that skinny, um, skinny slimming fit. So it's like a little bit harder to, to just put on. But yeah, so actually this color is a good um, visa mesh for me. I think the other one would have been good too. I think it's just, depending on your skin tone of course, but these don't look bad by any means. And I just wore um, some clear heels just to make sure that it kind of goes with the illusion, you know, going for the vibe. But yeah, so these ones fit like this. We got a 360. I can't decide which I like more. I think it's just more so I love them both. But these ones have more of a going out feel. I wouldn't really wear sneakers with these ones because there's just so much excess material which I like the look of but I just don't think if I'm lower to the ground I really wouldn't want that just dragging and stepping on it. Um, this is a pretty good amount of material on the ground already so I think it's a cute little look and I feel very on the ground when I wear these. That makes sense. Um, no it doesn't but just get the Get the aesthetic and get the vibes, and if you want them, I suggest you buy them because I truly am in love. But one more walk, and that's pretty much it for these jeans. Okay, yeah, sorry, I wanted to give a full rundown of these pants for these reviews. So, again, I'll give you guys how I feel about this material. It's mostly the mesh, the tool, so of course, it's very easy going. So, again, I can do a full this is even more comfortable actually, but I can do a more um. Squat, sit, stretch. There's no fabric on my knees. Like, aside from like this, it's just dang near like wearing leggings. So these are like a hybrid pant because truly, honestly, it doesn't feel like denim because I think almost 50% of the makeup of this pants is <laughs> mesh. So yeah, they're both very, very comfortable. Just make sure you get the right size. I think that's how you'll get the best fit. Okay guys, thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really informative. I tried to be as thorough as I could. But if there's any questions that you guys have, make sure to leave them in the comment box below. And I always reply, so just comment what you have any questions on, whether it be something that I already repeated, just if you need it again, let me know. And please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on my socials. That's it guys, bye. Thanks for watching.